Hi you guys, it is Charlie aka Miss Charlize and welcome to another fabulous episode of Charlie's Edition, The Joy of Gay Sex Series. Now if you have not so far checked out my other four topics that I've already talked about, go back here on my videos, check those out. Very interesting information. So, this topic that I want to talk about is this. And you're like, what? Hands. Hands, when it comes to sex, can be very important. Hands are a huge part of having sex. It's not just about the cock. It's not just about the ass. It's not just about the pussy or vagina, whatever words you want to use. Hands is very important when it comes to having sex as well because it's all about the touching the caressing the choking the slapping um just whatever the hands are a big part when it comes to having sex now let me read to you guys out of the fabulous joy of gay sex why hands are important when it comes to sex well first of all let me start off by showing you guys this picture oh yeah let me begin since the hands are our most sensitive non-genitalia equipment precisely coordinated and packed with nerve endings, they can be used to perform the most delicate work. They can be feathery, making just noticeable contact with the down on another man's body, especially the tiny hairs above the tailbone, along the nap, around the nipples, on the insides of his thighs and on his balls. To appreciate the pleasure hands can provide, Lie beside your partner and kiss him, but don't let any other parts of your bodies come into contact. As he becomes more excited, trail your fingertips over the sensitive flesh of his stomach. Pull back more from the kiss and lightly trace the outlines of his mouth with your finger. Oh yeah? Explore the inside of his mouth with your fingers, especially the front of the gums and the roof. You know, all up in there. Some people like that. <laughs> Reach down and slowly trigger the hair on his balls. Wet your hands with your saliva and draw two lines on his stomach beside his penis without touching it. Then graze his cock with your hand. Hands can also stimulate other parts of his body, playing with his asshole, stroking his thighs and the back of his legs, rubbing the bottoms of his feet, or pinching his nipples. Remember, as your partner becomes more excited, he can tolerate and will enjoy slightly rougher touching. When he gets sweaty and comes close to a climax, stop for a breather. As he calms down, Blow a cooling stream of air over a sweaty bottle body and follow his this jet trail. This jet trail with light motions of your fingertips. While you're sucking him, you can stick a finger up his butt to give him an extra sensation he will find exquisite. He'll have a stronger climax too. Or you can reach under and grab his balls while he's screwing you. Some guys like their balls to be pulled hard. In rough sex, hands can make a vital contribution. You can pin your partner's wrist to the mattress as you screw his face. You can squeeze his tits hard or slap his ass. And when all is done, you two can just lie there exhausted. Bodies too sore or, over too, or overstimulated to touch with hands entwined. From the moment you first connect and your hands meet and begin to know each other at a bar, on a beach, 
or across a candlelit table to the end of love making. Hands communicate and elaborate the language of love. So, hands can be a very important part of love making, rough sex, like I said, choking, holding the person down, slapping of the ass. Hands can be a very exciting and important part of sex. Let me know what you guys think about this topic. See you on the next video. Hot